Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna go over how to fix the most common VirtualBox error on Linux, and that is the launch error. Now, the launch error comes up when you do not have the VirtualBox Linux driver installed. Now, the most common way this happens is if you're installing VirtualBox, but you forget to install the Linux kernel headers. Maybe you don't know what those are, maybe you do, but it, you need it installed to build a driver. So if you don't have it installed, VirtualBox will fail to build the driver, and then you're left with something like this. When you try to launch your VM, it's gonna tell you that the kernel module is not installed and it's not working. So to fix that, we need to install the driver. So let's open up the, the article here and uh, you know, I go over how to install the kernel headers on pretty much every relevant distribution, and uh, then I show you how you can install the driver. So for Ubuntu, I'm going to do this here. Now, sometimes you may have the DKMS driver installed, but you know the package driver, but you don't have the header, so maybe the package is already there. You can run the reinstall command. If you have never installed it, you can just remove that there. But Reinstall is a good way to go. Once you do that, it will download everything you need and it will look for everything on there, like your DKMS files and everything. And it will build the module and uh, install it. Now, after you've installed it, it's not done yet. You need to enable the driver. Now, you can simply run the mod probe command here. And now when I run the mod probe command, that's gonna instantly load the module into the kernel. And if the mod probe command doesn't work, you can just reboot. But once we do that, you should be able to simply start up your VM like normal. And that's how you fix the launch error. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. It's definitely something that has plagued me over my years of using Linux and confused as why the driver wasn't working, but that's how you fix it. And also don't be afraid to check the installation, the, uh, Excuse me, don't be afraid to check the description of the video because we go over how you can install the extension pack if you have an error with that, as well as permission errors because believe it or not, you can have permission errors with this folder as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.